It's Tuesday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at noon. Nearly 900 people are in the dark this morning for a planned power outage in Frisco and Breckenridge. It started around 940. It even knocked out the power to the Crystal 93 transmitter. Excel is telling us that crews are replacing equipment. The power and your signal right here on Crystal 93 should be back online early this afternoon. Local fire danger remains high today in Summit County, but fire officials are not imposing new fire restrictions. This is why. Above average for temps, but normal precipitation, although if you look at our weather for the next 10 days or so, we're looking at rain every day in the afternoon. That was under Sheriff Peter Haynes from a meeting just moments ago with county commissioners. Two separate but connected car thefts yesterday shut down highways between Grand Lake and Berthoud Pass. One thief sped upwards of 100 miles per hour and then smashed into sheriff's cruisers. He fled on foot before he was captured. A second thief squared off with deputies for nearly an hour before he surrendered. He was reportedly armed. No injuries from that pursuit or the standoff. An 80-year-old hiker was airlifted from Rocky Mountain National Park yesterday. Other hikers found the woman unresponsive on the challenging Lawn Lake Trail. They performed CPR. Rescuers believe she suffered heart trouble. A pair of hikers from Wisconsin died last Friday in Canyonlands National Park near Moab. The 52-year-old man and his 23-year-old daughter got lost in 100-degree heat and ran out of water. In the past four months, the average mortgage rate in Colorado has more than doubled. New borrowers today are paying $1,000 more every month. Denver Post says these mortgage handcuffs might cobble the real estate market. Statewide, sellers were struggling to find buyers last month. New home listings were up 19% from last year. New condo listings up nearly 38%. And yet experts say sellers are partly to blame. Prices are not dropping. A new poll finds that Colorado stereotypes are mostly on point, especially if you live in Denver. Colorado Polling Institute surveyed hundreds of Denver residents. 72% say they've hiked, biked, or played in the mountains this year. 54% have downed a craft beer. 40% have been to Red Rocks recently. 33% have smoked cannabis. That's double the national rate. In sports, the MLB All-Star Game, it's tonight, 6 o'clock on Fox. The Rockies, they're still the worst team in the National League. They'll be back in action Friday for the Giants at Coors Field. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family in Dillon. The Summit High football team, they're raising money today with a car wash at the high school. Stop by any time until 4. 10 bucks goes right back to the team. Leaving the start line today at 545 is race 3 of the Mountain Goat Kids Trail Running Series at Frisco Adventure Park. Bring your kids, ages 13 and younger. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News.